A group in downtown Abilene tonight demanded change to several Abilene schools named after Confederate leaders. Similar demands happening all across the nation after the death of George Floyd. KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez was there as this evening's gathering got underway. She joins us now from Robert E. Lee Elementary School. Mercedes. Good evening, Bob. Now, this school right behind me is one that many here in Abilene say should have its name changed because the historical leader it's named after should not be honored in this way. Now, a community coalition featured eight speakers ranging from pastors to current Abilene students this afternoon, all asking that the Abilene ISD school board change the names of Johnston, Jackson, Lee, and Reagan elementaries. A historian there also shared these schools were named during a crucial time for American race relations back in the 60s and were not named to honor the Confederate leaders, but to intimidate students of color who were beginning to integrate into Abilene schools. Those at today's conference said the current names do not provide a welcoming environment to minority students. When my daughter asked me, Dad, why did they change the name of my school? I'm gonna tell her, they don't hate you, baby, not here in Abilene, because there were enough people who were willing to make a stand and make things right again, right here in Abilene, Texas. That coalition did wrap up just in time for tonight's meeting of the AISD school board. Now, board members all agreed that a name change would likely be in the best interest right now for the public. During the public comment portion of the meeting, communications director Lance Fleming read aloud several messages from residents in favor of changing the names and some opposed. In total, about 83 comments were in favor of changing the names and only two were opposed. If the name of a school is going to be an impediment of any type to a child or a parent, I don't want that for sure. Now, all the board members did tonight was discuss changing the school names, but did agree that a policy for determining how schools should be named should be drafted up. Now, that could be coming as soon as August or this September. From Lee Elementary, Mercedes Hernandez, back to you. Okay, Mercedes, thank you for that live report. We'll keep you updated on this developing story on air and on the KTAB website, bigcountryhomepage.com.